I love you. communication major, emphasis in public relations. Um, I live here on the fourth floor of Southview with an excellent Southview. Um, I'm from Lombard, Illinois, and that is where I met my girlfriend. Um, her name is Chris Val Morris, um, and we've been dating three and a half years. And uh, yeah, we met in high school at a, uh, we were both on the high school mock trial team actually. That's, that's, that's how we met. We, we were kind of like friends for a long time beforehand. Like we knew each other since middle school, but it wasn't until the later years of high school that we were kind of interested in each other in that way. My name is Matthew Spolstra. I am a senior at Dort and I have a theology major, biblical studies emphasis, and a minor in business. And who are you dating? I am dating Megan DeGraff. My name is Jaden Ranke and I am 20 years old. I currently attend the University of Nebraska-Lincoln for elementary education and I plan to become a kindergarten teacher. I met Sam through a friend at work and at first it was a little difficult to communicate because he lives in a different state, but we definitely found a way to make it work. So we started dating my senior year of high school and so we dated that entire year of high school and then at the end of the year of course the question is well we're going to go to different colleges she is she's at Wheaton College right now and I'm at Doris so we're 500 and some miles away um, so in my mind there were kind of three options there was well we break it off and that's just we say it was fun see you later two you kind of say um, you know we're still dating but maybe you know we understand that it probably won't work out or three we kind of stay committed to each other and she was very much in favor of the third option, and so that's what we did. We stayed committed to each other with, you know, a, a realistic sense of we're not going to live close by, and there are going to be plenty of new, there are plenty more new fish in the sea, right? But um, we stayed committed to each other, and we actually, I think, grew closer in the distance, which is kind of odd. Um, but every time we we would reunite after being apart for a month or so, or two months or whatever. Um, I felt like we hadn't lost much of anything, if anything at all. So that was, that was good. At first I wasn't really a big fan of long distance relationships, but I had never really tried it before, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And now it's a year and a half later and I'm glad we had the opportunity. I started officially dating her a couple weeks ago. It's April 10 right now, and so it's coming up to the end of the school year. We're, yeah, it seems to be going quite well, and so I really don't see any reason to cut it off just because we're going to be going separate ways. Considering I'm going to be continuing in my schooling, doing postgraduate work, and I'm going to be in her hometown, so it's just a semester apart, and then she's going to be moving back to where I'm at, which is where she's from. The biggest fear for me, and still is to some extent, but not nearly as much as it was, but like starting it, was that here I am living here, and here she is living here, and we both have different groups of friends, we both have different classes, we both have completely different experiences in college, learning different things. And so that when we come back together, say after we've been apart for three months or whatever, that we had both like changed as people, and therefore because we had lived independently of each other, we wouldn't need each other anymore. That we would change enough that I don't know you anymore, is like because I don't, I'm not experiencing that change with you because I'm not with you. But that hasn't really happened. Um, it's happened to some extent, of course. Like we've had different, different uh, tracks and different things going on in our lives, and that has changed us. But we've been able to talk enough and to like meet up enough that we, 
through our communication, we can stay in tune with how the other person is changing. And it doesn't seem jarring than when we are, cl when we are uh, geographically close. Um, you, still, you still know the other person very well. struggle for us is that we go weeks at a time without seeing each other when we should be going out and having fun. Especially since right now we live right down the uh, the hallway from each other, it's, it's going to be a lot less time seeing each other in person. I think that's going to be difficult. It's not going to be nearly as fun as it is right now. You know, you get to just walk down the hall or she just comes by, you get to hang out pretty much all day long as long as we're not busy. And so a lot of that's going to be missing, which I suppose I'd be working during the day anyways, but you won't get to see each other nearly as much. There'll be a lot more phone calls and other stuff like that, I suppose. A lot less physical presence. When Sam comes home, it's a bit of relief because we are able to go out and do things together when we were unable to before. The hardest thing we've had to overcome is probably different experiences which result in different um, kind of emotions and feelings. So, for example, if I just uh, saw a fantastic play or something and I'm just feeling on top of the world whereas she had a lot of homework today and she doesn't really want to talk or doesn't um yeah you know it's, it's feeling more more sober than I am you know I'm just like flying high or saw a movie or play or whatever it's that like that kind of clash we're on different levels and then when you say okay we're going to talk at the end of the day we're going to phone call or Skype or whatever and then it's kind of like oh shoot you know I was hoping that we could engage on the same emotional level but that doesn't always happen and that's okay like we've come to recognize that that's the reality that that's something that happens but that has been a challenge and it kind of frankly kind of sucks when that happens is that you know, oh shoot we're on a different emotional level again today but and then that's not like a huge challenge to overcome but that's definitely been a, a persistent one throughout throughout the years To start with, it'd be good to have a schedule for communication. I know at least in past, especially during the summer, I get very busy. I have a lot of things going on, a lot of stuff that I'm doing during the day and at night. And so trying to make space for that, which I don't think that'd be too difficult, but I, I think it'd be good to have a set schedule in which to do that. So that even if you know we don't communicate at other times during the day, we have a time that's set just for that. The most important thing to have in a long distance relationship is definitely, definitely communication. Um, we started out committing to like a phone call once a week kind of thing and that changed very quickly to we would text often um, but then okay well let's let's call you know just call whenever you want to so then okay every every couple days and now we're at a point where we call every night like that's our default is to we're going to have a conversation, whether it be 10 minutes or two hours at the end of the day, depending on, on what's going on. And sometimes it's a Skype call, sometimes it's just a phone call. Um, and, but that's, that's been a very, very important part. And that has a lot to do with the whole difference of experience, is that you talk to each other every day and you know what's going on in the other person's life. And I think that that communication is an absolutely integral part of, of a long distance relationship. When Sam is gone, I spend most of my time with my family and I nanny on the weekdays, but most of the time I spend with my dog, Bailey. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> she loves going on walks and she will do whatever she can to get her treats. Sit. 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 Sit.
Well, I mean, so far, we haven't really had any issues. We've been, you know, getting along great. There's a lot of things that we really like about each other. And so, at this point, I don't see it coming to an end whatsoever. But, you know, things change, I guess. So, we'll just keep on taking it day by day. Yes, absolutely. Um, we have one more year, I'm a junior and she's a junior, so we're gonna be together this summer. And then we have one more year of schooling where we're apart. And then yes, I'm very, I'm very hopeful for the future with regard to us being geographically uh, close together. I, I see engagement and marriage in my future, definitely. We are currently looking for an apartment together for when he graduates in May, and I think the next biggest step is getting engaged. The best advice that I can give to those in a long distance relationship is to communicate. Let your partner know that they are loved and be sure to give them the attention that they deserve, even if it's from a distance.